show you my craft room here. This is a built-in cabinet that's at the end of one of the, the end of the room. I have uh, I have a subscription to the Fat Quarter Shop Sew so Sampler Box, and so I have all these cool projects that come in once a month. You want to know how many I've got done? <laughs> None. And then I just have fabric that I've liked and and bought. You know, here different charm packs and stuff. This is one of the projects that I'm working on. It'll be for next summer though because I didn't get it done. And up here I've got some felt squares that I'm going to use for, for uh, in my embroidery. Uh, just some muslin that I'm going to do some other projects with. In here, these three drawers are filled with fabric. Um, this is the t-shirt stuff that I'm going to be working on. So that's my fabric stash for the most part over here. This is the fabric that I'm using for the quilt that I'm working on. And it's, I mean, it's just absolutely stunning fabric. This is a uh, fabric by Deb Strain as the designer from Moda Fabrics. It's just absolutely, I love these pumpkin prints. And um, these are just part of them. But gorgeous fabrics. So here's some more of them. Different pieces that I've got cut out that I need. And over on the other wall is a lot of my Cricut stuff. Um, this is, uh, they call it HTV vinyl. I cut this out and I can iron this. It's iron-on stuff that you can wearable and washable. So I've got window cling stuff for designs, uh, permanent and removable vinyl. This is all for designs that I uh, cut out on the Cricut. And I've got some ribbons over here. I don't have all my ribbons over here yet. Uh, and then just uh, storage drawers down here. My quilting rulers are here. Uh, just miscellaneous stuff here. And I up here I got a lot of, a lot of my Cricut pens and, and tools. And then uh, Gina Pearson. Here's my fabric stash, what I found anyway. All these books, I have. Need, I need to go through them because I have no idea what's even in all these fabric, these books. Here's Gina, I meant to say that was my paper stash, not my fabric stash. My fabric stash was, stash was in the other place. But this is my paper stash. Oh, George, this is a lot of sewing stuff I have in here. Like ribbons for baby quilts, uh, my paints, and pro other project stuff that I'm going to be doing. I don't know what else is here. Just miscellaneous stuff, craft project stuff. And over on the side, I have all my Cricut mats hung. There, I have uh, some light grip, some regular grip, and some heavy grip, depending on the type of fabric we use. And my cuddle bug is stuck back there. And I do, I have my all my cuddle bug plates here. So I think a lot of my cuddle bug plate inserts are up here. There's some die cuts there. And I keep getting alerts on my phone for the storm that's going through. Oh, yeah, some more cuddle bug plates here. So uh, the wall was painted green when it was a nursery. I love these windows. I feel like I'm in a little gingerbread house. And then here's a big armoire where I have my winter coats stored and I have my some of my storage tubs in there. I don't have anything in those drawers down there yet, but uh, tons of storage space. Here's my thread stash that I keep adding to. I can hear the thunder roaring in here. So. I just pulled out a bunch of notions from my so sampler boxes last night. I haven't organized them yet. There's some uh, temporary adhesive over there that I need for you know certain projects that I work on. And there's my sewing machine. It's an old old stand. Uh, my pattern that I'm trying to understand. Here's my Cricut. Uh, my printer because sometimes I print then cut on my Cricut. But and I've got printed out an uh, applique design that I'm going to be do using. So and more of the fabric that I'm using for this quilt. So that's my craft room so far. 
my sewing machine is set up now of course usually I put it over in the corner but uh, yeah it's a nice space I have plenty of room in here we go and shut the door here so maybe I can pan around here and show you I mean it's a really nice size room so and I've got a ceiling fan and an air conditioning unit back here so I don't need it today there's another one of my my cutting mats that I use for quilting so I'm gonna I need another craft table in here yet um, because that little card table doesn't cut it for cutting large patterns out I don't know what happened to it, but it's, you know, I'm going to get one of the ones that I can fold up and take down if I need to. So, anyway, that is my craft room. All right, well, that was my little craft room tour. Um, I will be looking at some of the other... Um, I'll be showing you the other rooms as I get them organized. I mean, they're mostly everything's put away, but, but I really need to clean. I just haven't had the motivation to do that so I've been going through the little projects that I want to do and like I said my this this quilt once I figure out all my pattern pieces should go together pretty quickly um, one of the things that I love back here and I don't I don't know how many of you sew but I got this a couple years ago too look at all these presser foots for my sewing machine so the one of course I use the most is the quarter inch one and my quilting my, or my embroidery hoop but uh, and I have different sizes of, of my embroidery hoop too I don't know why this isn't opening so there we go um, anyway I, I have no idea how to use all these things yet but Here's a list of everything that came in the pack. Uh, of course, I know how to use the, the zipper foot. Um, a kint foot, I have no idea what that is. A darning foot, well, darn it, I don't know what that is either. <laughs> uh, there's a bias, adjustable bias tape binder foot, so you can make your own bias tape. Uh, there's just all kinds of stuff. A couple different quilting foots in here, quilting feet, I should say. I like the ones with the little guide on it, and that's the one I'm looking for now. This, uh, there's one that has, here it is. Is this it? Nope, that's not it. But there's one that has a little fabric guide on it. Yeah, well, I'm not going to look for it now, but I'll show it to you when I find it. Um, yeah, next on my list will be actually, you know, going through here and labeling everything so that I know exactly what it is and where to find it. <laughs> There's so many things in here, but it has like a little metal guard on the side that is like the fabric guide that, that lets you know that you're doing an exact quarter inch stitch, which is important when you quilt. So, all right, well, let's get, let's get down to business on the uh, Weight Watchers program. So I, uh, yesterday had a little fun and I paid for it this morning on the scale it's not going to stay because I know myself well enough to know that it's that I'm going to uh, lose it again. And uh, oh, this is a walking foot. When you do quilting, this is kind of cool. You take out the the feeder dogs on your sewing machine, and this does all the work for you. And it brings it brings like bulky fabrics through. So I do know how to use this. <laughs> Sidetracked. So anyway, um, this morning I've had six points for breakfast, and I didn't eat, I tell you, I didn't get going until really late today. I didn't get up for church this morning. I knew I wasn't going to go because my gas tank is thirsty, and uh, I don't get my Social Security check until Wednesday, so my gas tank's going to stay thirsty till Wednesday, and uh, it's it's a good jaunt to my church and back. So I uh, opted to stay home today, and plus it's been storming. I got the dog out. Uh, the sky was getting really dark, and, and I realized Molly hadn't been out yet, so I got her out really quick to to do her thing and uh, because I didn't want to be out there walking by the pond if we had a big lightning strike. <laughs> and uh, the lightning hasn't really hit, but it's, I mean, it's thundering, so it's in the area. And I keep getting these alerts on my phone saying there's lightning in the area. 
so I came back and it was like 2.30 almost by the time I ate my breakfast. And now it's, uh, it's after 4 o'clock and I was just thinking maybe before I get going back here on this big project, I will uh, go eat my lunch because I don't want to go into to dinner starving, you know. Uh, I pulled out a steak for dinner. It's thawing on my counter. And I probably, to be honest with you, am not going to eat it all. I'll probably eat half of it, or I'll have to weigh it out. It looks like a pretty good sized steak. So I'll, I'll fry it up, and then I'll uh, weigh it, and then decide what I'm going to have. Um, I only typically meet... Oh, now we're under a severe thunderstorm warning. I just got the warning on my phone. Um, anyway, I typically only eat meat once or twice a month anymore. Uh, I'm talking about red meat. I eat mostly chicken and turkey anymore and eggs for my protein source or beans. So, because I know I kind of have weight gains when I eat meat and my stomach doesn't like meat anymore. My, di my, my digestive tract has a harder time with red meat anymore. So, anyway... Uh, but I'm, I decided, decided to have it for dinner. It was on sale. It looked like a good deal. And I thought, I could probably get two meals out of this. So what I don't eat, I'll just put in the freezer and eat later. But I'll show that to you when I get get to dinner. Like I said yesterday, I had a little bit of fun at the picnic. I tell you what, though. Realistically, I did not go overboard. I have been to picnics before where I ate everything. I mean, they had tortilla chips and everything that I love and I stayed away from the potato salad and the macaroni salad and the broccoli salad that had the nice you know dressing on the creamy dressing on it anything that had a creamy dressing on it I didn't take so that was exhibiting more control than what I've had in the past and even with the desserts I took a little and I'm talking like a little dollop a spoonful of my blueberry cobbler and um and I didn't taste it while I was baking it or while I was making it because I've made it before and I know what it tastes like. But, um, and then I had another person's dessert just because I didn't want to be rude. But anyway, uh, and they had homemade ice cream there too and I didn't touch that because, you know, I probably could have swallowed that whole gallon of homemade ice cream. <laughs> it looked pretty good. Um, so I did exhibit some self-control yesterday, which was good. It was an improvement. So I could have been better. Yeah, I could have stayed away from the cheese. Uh, I don't know what it is about cheese. Any of you else have a cheese addiction? Because I love cheese. I'm trying to figure out which way to look at my camera to, so it doesn't look like I'm staring off into... Is this it? Should I look right here? All right, let me look here. See if that's any better. It's weird. <laughs> I'm trying to look at myself. But I should be looking at the camera instead because it looks like I'm staring off into space or looking at, you know, talking to somebody else in the corner. Anyway, I'm rambling on. Um, I'll show you what I decided to have for lunch. And um, I already know what I have for dinner, but I'll show that to you after I get it all, get it all cooked up. And um, I'm back on track today. I last two days I've, I've gotten to my weeklies only by one point. But yesterday, you know, if, going back and thinking about it, I probably should have tracked more for that cheese. But, uh, oh well, I didn't, so. All right, I'll see you back here soon, and if I make any project progress on this quilt, I'll show it to you. <laughs> so, I'll talk to you later. Good Sunday morning, well really it's afternoon, and I'm just having breakfast. So here's what I've got. I've got my half a cup of blueberries for zero points. Two slices of the Aunt Millie's light wheat bread for two points. Six grams of butter for two points, two eggs for zero points, and there's two points in my coffee. So two, four, six points. Six points for breakfast this morning. And actually it's my lunch because it's after two o'clock and I'm just now eating breakfast. I know, I was really lazy today. So I decided to have my dinner a little early tonight instead of having a lunch. And then later tonight I think I'll have what I consider a lunch. Um, like a light lunch, like maybe some yogurt and some fruit. But for dinner, I'm having four ounces of uh, blade steak, which is, uh, according to my app, six points. And I have a tablespoon of ketchup for one point, so that's seven points. Everything else on my plate is zero points. The green beans, the lettuce, salad, 
um, the grilled jalapeno. I put lemon, uh, I squeezed some fresh lemon juice on top of my salad instead of using salad dressing since there is some fat in that steak. I thought maybe that was enough fat for this meal. So seven points for my dinner tonight. I think that takes me up to 10 points for the day so far. This is my late night snack tonight because I didn't have lunch and I figured I better have something else. I needed a few more calories before I go to bed tonight. So I decided on this. This is a little more than a cup of yogurt. Um, it's still zero points, but it's probably about a cup and a quarter, maybe close to a cup and a half. It weighed out at 272 grams. And a cup is 227 grams. Then I have a half a cup of blueberries on there, also zero points. And that takes my total calories to under a thousand today, 959.9. And I did not do this on purpose, it just happened. 17 points for the day. Okay, well, um, I think the storms are finally starting to die down. I actually am surprised we kept power all night long because it was really, um, really storming. I know that some of you uh, got it pretty bad tonight too that are not in Ohio. So anyway, I'm eating my late night snack here. I was working on my quilt project all day. Let me swallow so I'm not chewing while I'm talking. <laughs> um, when I originally got this, the fabric and the pattern a couple years ago, I messed up on the cutting. So I figured out a way to still save the integrity of the pattern um, by just switching out some pieces and I'm going to make a binding, a smaller binding strip than what the pattern calls for. But um, I think it'll work out. Anyway, I sh I'll show you in a second what I did, all the pieces that I cut out today. And I've been on my feet all day. I'm tired. And uh, I got in quite a few calories today. Or I burned off quite a few calories today. I was outside a few times in between the raindrops and the lightning strikes. <laughs> so we'll see uh, if I can get that... Uh, little bit of weight that I gained over overnight back off by tomorrow morning now my calorie count is very low today I did not plan it that way this is just the way it happened I think because I was just so busy doing other things I didn't think about eating and but the thing it is I'm not hungry I ate a good dinner and it was an early dinner um, earlier for me anyway it was around five o'clock when I ate maybe a little bit before five o'clock so um, I don't normally eat my evening meal till you know seven o'clock and then I don't eat after that usually so it's like 10 30 right now and I'm gonna have this yogurt and then I'm gonna go to bed so um, I'm gonna try to get up early tomorrow morning as if I were teaching a full day because uh, I am gonna try to start substitute teaching after school starts here in Labor Day after Labor Day um, but I want to get my schedule going now so I know Wednesday I have a busy day. I got I have those two tests at the hospital on Wednesday. Um, just maintenance, <laughs> maintenance tests, and uh, my mammogram and my bone scan, scan. That's it. And then I have to go back to the doctor's on Thursday to check my uh, blood pressure cuff. And. Uh, Tuesday I have to go over and get another blood test done because they want to check my kidney function again. But So I, I have a busy week coming up, but I, uh, I want to start getting up early tomorrow morning, so that's why I'm going to go to bed early tonight. And I'm glad I was busy today because I'm tired. So anyway, uh, I showed you everything I ate today. Uh, I get in trouble when I don't. <laughs> so um, it was a pretty good day for me as far as being on plan other than my calorie counts pretty low so I have a glass of water here I'm gonna finish I'm gonna fi finish my yogurt and then I'm gonna call it a night so I'll be back tomorrow again and I'll take you along with me tomorrow when I eat you know whatever I decide to have um, I haven't done my meal planning which I normally do on Sunday nights because I was working on that quilt 
but I'll probably get up and do that in the morning then. That'll be my first morning project where I do my meal plan for the week. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. You guys have a great night and stay safe if you're in all these storms. Okay, this is what I did today. I cut out all these pieces for my quilt. And I'm tired of standing now. It's 120 of these little suckers. 120 of these. 24 of these. 30 of those. And there's six of these. So that was my project today. And tomorrow I'm going to start sewing it.